Remember now he was a little kid and he used to go to the Quran school. I'm just giving you an indication. And he, when at break time, the kids would be playing and they would be coming to Imam al Nawawi and asking him to come play with him. And he would run away from them, reciting the Quran, crying, and say, we were not created for that. He was a little boy in the school and they want to play. And he would go away from said, uh, he would say, we were not created for that. And one sheikh, he was there, he said, who is this little boy? Take care of him, he's special. Subhanallah. It's Imam al -Nawi. And look at Imam al -Nawi. It's Imam al -Nawi, He wrote. And he, he went to Damascus when he was around 18 and 19. He was from Noah in southern Syria. He went to Damascus when he was around 19. He died. Imam al -Nawi died when he was 45 years old. So you're talking about 25 years as a teacher. Imam al -Nawi wrote in those 25 years out of his the amount of work he wrote in those 25 years because of how much he wrote it can be estimated that to write that amount if he spread it over his life he would have to write 20 pages a day wow so 20 pages a day the amount of he wrote if he spread it out through his life it would average of 20 pages a day and he didn't do that over his life. He did that in 25 years. Subhanallah. Think about that. What kind of... They used to say among the Quran of Imam al -Nawi, when he used to write in the lamp, and the lamp would go out, his finger would illuminate, and he would write, continue to write from the light of his finger. The time of Imam al -Nawi. Subhanallah. It's awliya of Allah. Awliya of Allah. Imam al he was a kid. He was in his house. And he woke up. His family, his mom and dad. He said, do y'all see all these lights around the house? And there was like no lights. And then when they found out, it was Layla Tukadr. Imam al Nawi as a kid, he saw Layla Tukadr. And to show you his rank, when Imam al Subki, Rahimahullah, Taqiyuddin al Subki, came to Damascus to Dar al Hadith, because Imam al Subki was from Egypt and he was a chief judge, Imam al Subki. He, he died in the year 756. So Imam uh, Nawawi died 7, uh, 676, right? Imam al Subki came after him 80 years later. Imam Subki, when he came to Dar al-Hadith, he went to the location where Imam al nawawi used to lead the Salat in Dar al-Hadith, in the Mihrab. He put his head down on the ground. He said it was, and he said a poem, and he said, it is sufficient for me to put my head at the feet of Imam al nawawi That's Imam al Subki, who the scholar said reached the level of Mujtahid Mutlaq, that he could have had his own madhab. Subhanallah. He's not thinking about outward stuff. He's thinking about connection. He said, I just put my head at the place where Imam al Nawi stood. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Habib Ahmed bin Hassan al Atas, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he died in the year 1334 AH. He's from Hadramaut. He was the student of the great Mufti of the Shafi'i in Mecca, Al-Imam al-Sheikh Ahmed Zaini Dahlan, Habib Ahmed bin Hassan al Atas. He was the student of him, and when he went also, he took from Al-Habib Aydarus bin Umar al-Habashi, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Ahmed bin Hassan al Atas, he was blind. He was blind, like Imam al-Haddad. I mean, physically blind, but his heart was, had basira, so he could see. He used to walk the streets. I take this connection. He would walk the streets of Hureida. That's an area where his family's from in Hadramaut. He would walk the streets and he would point to the houses 
where there were books of Imam al Nawawi, Al Qutb al Nawawiya, he would point, right? And they asked him, Ya Habib, how do you know about where the books of al Nawawi are and you cannot see? You didn't, you're just walking down the street. He said, because the books of Imam al Nawawi, they produce a light that the people of insight can perceive. SubhanAllah. He said, the books of Imam al Nawawi produce a light, a light, a nur emerges from them that the people, Ahl al Basira, those people of inward spiritual insight, they perceive that light. They perceive that light. SubhanAllah. It's 1334, and I'm a Nawawi, 676. So you're talking six centuries, seven centuries later? Seven centuries later. And he said, they perceive. And that's why Imam al Haddad, you're going to read later when we go into the book of Imam al Haddad, said, the people of perception, the people of high energy, they love the books of Imam al Nawawi. Subhanallah.